What's happening YouTube, it's your boy Tech Tricks back with another video and today we're gonna show you how to get full bars of Wi-Fi all over your house. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you can notify of the next videos to come of tips and tricks on your iPhone and your Android. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca and here we go. And today we're looking at Mesh Force. This is basically a Wi-Fi extender you'll be able to plug in different pods in different spots in your house, getting rid of dead spots in your house where you will, be ha you will be able to have the full bars, full potential of your Wi-Fi wherever you are in your house. Without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this. This is the Mesh Force M3 and M3 Dots. This is a powerful and seamless Wi-Fi system. Whatever how big your house may be, this will be able to cover it up to five bedrooms. This will eliminate Wi-Fi dead spots across your home. If you wanna get one yourself, I'll link this down in the description below. Today, we're gonna show you how to install the Mesh Force as well, how to connect it to the app and how it works together. This is really easy to install as well. If you have a Wi-Fi router before and you know how to install that, this is basically the exact same thing with the addition of the pods. The pods are plug and play. You plug it on your wall and you're good to go. It even gives you an extra LAN uh, Ethernet port if you needed that. This is also the starter pack. So it comes with two pods, but actually you can extend this up to six pods. So you can buy extra pods and connect it to the same router. This also has a five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. I usually just use the 2.0 gigahertz for the most part because it's easy to go through walls. So, but that's good enough for me. But it's nice to see that it's compatible with five gigahertz as well for those of you who want the blazing fast internet. For those of you who have no idea what you're doing, this is really easy to set up. So any one of you will be able to uh, install this as long as you follow the instructions in this video. For those of you who are wondering what the security for this is WPA2-PSK. So that's pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and install the app. So go to Play Store or App Store and search for My Mesh. They also have a QR code so you can scan that and get to this page either way. While we are waiting for that to download, let's go ahead and install our Mesh Force router. Now go ahead and locate your router. Grab the Mesh Force router and go ahead and look at the back. You're gonna in, you're gonna put the Ethernet cable provided in the box into the Ethernet slot with the world picture on it. Make sure you use that slot and not the other one, or else it won't work. Now the other side of the ethernet cable, you're gonna insert into the extra ethernet slot on the provided modem. Once that inserted, all you need to do is power up the mesh force router. What you need to do now is plug in the DC plug-in to the mesh force router, just like that. And then once you are all done with that, go ahead and plug in your mesh force router. Once everything is plugged in, your mesh force should be able to turn on and should have a green light. Just wait for it a bit to uh, start up. And then what you need to do is open up the app. With the app, you'll be able to connect and set up the router. The app will show you the step-by-step -step on how to get there. So just follow along. Now we need to connect to our mesh force router. How you want to do that is you need to go to the bottom of the mesh force. There will be an SSID there and the password. Go ahead and look for that on your Wi-Fi connection. Punch in the password that is said on the bottom of the mesh force router. And then by doing that, you'll be able to connect to the router. Once it's said that it's connected to the Wi-Fi, go ahead and open up the My Mesh app again, and then go through the initial setup. During the initial setup, you'll be able to change the name, the SSID, the Wi-Fi name, and the Wi-Fi password as well. Just how I was do I'm doing it right now. Once that's all done, it should say successfully, 
and you're good to go. Now let's go ahead and install the mesh pods. To install the mesh pods, all you need to do is plug it in and then wait for a few minutes so that it'll connect to the router. Just like that, pretty easy. To verify that it is connected, go ahead and open up the My Mesh app and then wait for a few minutes and it should show that the mesh pod is green slash it should have a check mark. Now it's recommended to install the mesh pods on the dead zones in your house, maybe in the basement or maybe in your master bedroom or somewhere where it's really far from the Wi-Fi so that you'll be able to have a full connection to your Wi-Fi on that dead zone. I would also use this if I need a LAN connection to one of my devices, maybe your computer or maybe your iPad or something like that. If you need that LAN connection, I would use this for that as well. And there we go. It does take a bit of time, but it does work. Now we're gonna do a test of this Wi-Fi as well. We're gonna install the other mesh pod first and then we're gonna do tests comparing our 2.4 gigahertz on my router versus the mesh pods. And as easy as that, our mesh pods are ready to go. Right now we are connected to our mesh pod router. We're gonna see the speed test app and see what we could get. Right now my provider is Shaw. We have the internet 300 and I only have 2.4 gigahertz uh, turned on right now. Now let me know in the comments below who you think won is the mesh force router or the modem slash router built in within the Shaw modem. Well, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you were able to enjoy this unboxing slash initial setup or review for the Mesh Force router slash M3 pods. Let me know in the comments below if you're buying or not. If you are buying, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell as well. And I'll link this down in the description below. Share this to your friends as well who have dead zones on their house or really bad Wi-Fi. This will help them a lot. Make sure to hit that like button as well so you, we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a good day and stay grateful. Stay safe out there. Peace.